So Sarah is taking off for a month? Not a month. I'm Sarah and this is Charlie. In this episode, Charlie gives an update on his progress healing Lyme disease with bee venom therapy and then sends me off to try psilocybin for the first time. I get super intimate in this episode, which feels scary, but ultimately I believe psilocybin medicine should be available to a lot more people. So I'm excited to tell you about what led me to seeking it out. Yeah, he's in a good place. Mm-hmm. Pulsing? Yeah. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Just got in my 11 stings for the day. I've added my own additional twist because I have a Lyme meningitis infection and I just had the feeling that I really wanted to sting higher up my neck and it's helped a ton with my pressure headaches, which are generally over here. How far are you into treatment? It'll be a year around Christmas. How are you feeling now versus when you started? Oh, so much better now. I get better every month. It's amazing. The improvements monthly are huge. They say you should keep a journal so you don't forget things. Some of the awful stuff when it does come back up again. It's so nice not to have. The bee venom therapy has the only difference really I've made aside from living in very clean air up here. And the bee venom therapy is getting a lot easier. A lot less stressful on the body. So that's going good. Now it's just managing the bees in winter, which is the trick, keeping them going. This is how I manage in winter. But I am definitely considering bringing the beehive inside. If I was going to do this again, I would completely bring the beehive inside in s as soon as possible. I'd probably start the hive inside. What else are you considering? Uh, living somewhere warmer. <laughs> bee temperature. <laughs> if you're going to be borrowing bees from a beehive, Every couple of days, the healthier and the more comfortable they are and the more nectar flow they have access to on a regular basis, the better. So Sarah is taking off for a month? Not a month. Join me as I travel to a place where psilocybin, a compound found naturally in mushrooms throughout the world, is decriminalized so healing retreat centers like this can exist. It is so warm here. I'm really happy to be here, but I, I'm here with some specific intentions. I'm about to go and take psilocybin at a macro dose for the first time. And this is something that I've been feeling really called to for like four years now. And I also really wanted it to be a place where integration was the main priority. So I'm not nervous at all. Um, this is something that I've wanted to do for so long. I'm really just feeling like relieved that I finally have the opportunity to. And the reason for me specifically, I guess, is that probably starting like three-ish years ago, um, my relationship with Charlie became like pretty difficult. Um, and now we're doing great again, mostly thanks to us both starting individual therapy about a year ago. Um, but there's just some like residual subconscious personal issues that I have that continue to show up in relationship because they're super subconscious. Um, so that is my specific intention is to free myself of those and then like from a more subtle level just like become maximally carefree and happy and appreciative of the present moment um, which I feel myself getting better and better and better with. Um, but that is something that I think psilocybin tends to help with that I'm hoping for myself will be one of my experiences. So that is that. It's a week-long retreat and there's several psilocybin ceremonies. So I really don't know what to expect and I'm feeling so open to whatever unfolds. So I am about two miles from the retreat center in an itty bitty town. Um, a short walk from the ocean and it's really gorgeous and peaceful and warm because we were just so cold in Vermont. <laughs> I don't think, I mean if you're set up well with like a good indoor living space but what you saw in the bee venom aspect of this video is what our house looks like. It's an absolute construction zone disaster and it's just difficult to come in from knee deep snow which Charlie is currently in to that. Um, 
Um, so, very challenging. And yeah, that's all I have to say for now. But I'll let you know how it goes. Say, so we never struggled with being in love. We've always been super in love, so in love that we'll be walking down the street and people will just be like, oh, you guys are so in love. But what went on was that as we really got to know each other, really, really got to know each other, we just became so close that it was really raw and it brought up a lot of triggers in each of us individually and um, that would happen in any relationship that either of us were close in if we hadn't already done work to remove those triggers and those triggers are just like childhood wounds um, and things that we've internalized in our subconscious and it's really hard stuff to work through so that's when medicine like psilocybin can really help um i hope i hope and therapy for sure really helps so i feel like we've done all of the brain-based logical work that we could really do at this point it seems like the right time to try psilocybin after you like work through so much logically because they think that i feel as if i've done that Hello! I made it to the place where the retreat is. Uh, it's just been like 24 hours of settling in and information and I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit of a caffeine withdrawal because we're not supposed to be having that. <laughs> and um, some anxiety more about like the group and people and I like to be kind of alone in a cave most of my life and so whenever I'm in a group of a lot of new people I think I feel some anxiety and overwhelm but the people are really nice they're just new um, and the first ceremony with the mushrooms is tomorrow it's just a very light dose and then the next ceremony is the larger dose and then there's a third ceremony that's also a lighter dose so that is what's going on so far. We learned so many things this morning. And I'm going to go spend the afternoon by the beach after getting a health checkup. Also, I forgot a hairbrush, or actually I didn't. I, we only have one hairbrush as a family and I left it with Charlie. So gonna have to excuse my hair the rest of this trip. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, I will tell you all about what it was like for me when I took a large dose of psilocybin for the first time. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode.